Hello YouTube, I am here with a multi-physics simulation on a power PCB using ANSYS products. So uh, first uh, I need a PCB design software which I'm using uh, ANSYS, I mean um, I'm using Altium Designer for designing my PCB file and then uh, I will export the geometry file from uh, Altium Designer and then I'm going to use it in the uh, ANSYS geometry uh, module. Then uh, I will connect the uh, geometry to the uh, Ansys Maxfield 3D in order to apply current and uh, extract the losses on the copper traces of the PCB. Then I'm going to um, use those losses and import them in the uh, Ansys Fluent software package. And then um, I'm going to apply the uh, air chamber, the inlet, outlet, and then uh, export Port and analyze the uh, thermal heat transfer on the PCB, and then uh, uh, I'll get the temper body temperature on the uh, PCB, and then um, I'm I'm going to use the um, body temperature of the PCB in the as uh, mechanical to study the uh, deformation of the board. So uh, as you can see in this slide, this is workflow one. And then I'm going to uh, I will go to workflow 2 which should be workflow 2 and I will uh, replace the ANSYS Fluent with ANSYS Ice Pack in order to compare the results of the software packages in the ANSYS so uh, mm, with that being said uh, if we go to the um, Altium Designer this is just uh, I want to show what it looks like um, what it looks like inside the Altium Designer. So you can see that uh, I have three coppers, three uh, traces of copper. The upper one, uh, you can see it's, in, uh, it's on the um, bottom layer, which is blue traces here. And then uh, the width, uh, it's 20 millimeters wide, and its thickness is uh, 13 ounce, which is around half millimeters. And then the middle trace is 95 millimeters wide, and um, it is also on just one side of the um, uh, the board, and then it's on the top layer. And then we have the uh, bottom PCB, bottom uh, trace, copper trace, which is uh, on both sides of the board, and it is 20 millimeters wide. So it has a uh, two uh, parallel routes. So, uh, if we open the Altium Designer over here, uh, you can see that this is my schematic. Uh, I'm sorry. If I bring it down here, you can see that uh, this is my schematic, like three nits and uh, six connectors. And this is my uh, PCB. So, you can see that if I make it 3D and uh, try to rotate it. So, this is my uh, PCB. And you can see that it has a, like a top layer, bottom layer. And then if we go back to the 2D view, and then if you go to the project uh, or design and layer stack manager, you can see that the uh, thickness of each layer, the uh, dielectric or the uh, board itself is two millimeters and the uh, top layer and the bottom layer trace, uh, copper traces are 13 ounces or uh, 0 0.462 millimeters. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to export. So I'm, okay, if I, if I go to the 3D, uh, 2D section, and I'm going to file, fabrication, outputs, and export ODB++ files. So I'm gonna hit okay, and then it's going to take a little while. <coughs> And it's going to give me a message that it's finished. Okay. Uh, <coughs> sorry. So I have exported my uh, geometry file. So uh, there is different ways of exporting uh, geometry file from Altium uh, Designer to like uh, 3D uh, analysis softwares. But I found out that the like. Mm -hmm. 
the best way for me, for my case, is uh, using Ansys SI Wave. So Ansys SI Wave is another uh, uh, software package of the Ansys. So if I open Ansys SI Wave over here, this is Ansys SI Wave. So if I go to import and then hit import ODB++ files and then I don't want the changes save changes and then um, if I go back to um, go back to Altium Designer and check the directory for this one copy directory and come back here enter so project outputs for this PC file ODB folder and select folder so if I hit import it's going to take a little while and then it's gonna import the uh, 3d files of my uh, PCB design Port configuration Uh, so then um, this ANSYS SI Wave has uh, ANSYS Maxwell uh, interaction link inside this software. So I can export the uh, 3D files directly to the ANSYS uh, Maxwell 3D. And then um, I will save that file as a step file. Then I can use it in my uh, ANSYS Workbench environment for different modules. Uh, I don't need to check the workflow so here you can see that uh, my PCB file is imported so then uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to save this file uh, save it as a project one and then I will uh, select all of these nets and ports and then I'm uh, if you go to export tab you can see the uh, Maxwell 3D so I go to uh, export tab and export to Maxwell 3D and then uh, uh, select directory and then export it to Maxwell and uh, it will pop up in the Maxwell window and then you can see and the Maxwell that uh, my geometry has been included so you can see that uh, this is the uh, uh, my PCB with the you can see here in the uh, tree diagram here that the, the copper parts are over here you can select whichever you want and then the dielectric is over here as well so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm going to go modeler and then export my 3D file as a geometry file over here. So I did it before I'm exporting it and overwriting my old file. So now, uh, now I exported my uh, geometry file that I needed to uh, for this analysis. So what I uh, need to do next is to uh, I need to go to Ansys Workbench over here and save the project as a project one, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, import uh, I mean use a geometry module over here, and then I can use the uh, uh, okay. I will open the design modeler. So the important thing is uh, you need to be careful in the uh, geometry in the design model or space claim 
that uh, you need to um, make every geometry part as a uh, one single part so uh, I'll go to the file import external geometry file and then uh, here and select geometry file and click generate so it'll generate my geometry file over here but you need to be careful that it has 15 parts so uh, I will select all of the parts and right click on it and select for new part and then you can save your project and create or minimize your design modeler okay so uh, next I can um, mm -hmm, put the Maxwell 3D module over here Maxwell 3D and then click the geometry, connect the geometry to the uh, this Maxwell 3D geometry and then we can start our analyzing the uh, Maxwell 3D so it's going, going to take a few minutes take a few minutes so um, We'll come back later uh, in the next video with the designing the 3D model in the Ansys Maxwell. So till the next video, see ya.